welcome friends welcome to another video lecture of biovision academy and friends today we are going to discuss about fret okay fret students fret st stand for fluorescence resonance energy transfer or forrester resonance energy transfer or singlet singlet resonance energy transfer or simply you can call it resonance energy transfer okay student the full form of fret gives you an idea about what is fret and what is the meaning of fret okay a student every full form of fret gives a particular information about the fret okay students the scientist forester discovered the process of fret so fret is also known as forester resonance energy transfer okay now a student fret is a fluorescence dependent phenomenon okay and fluorescence takes place in those molecules in which electrons are present in singlet state okay and what is singlet state students when a molecule contain paired electrons okay and both the paired electrons have opposite spin then such condition of an electron is known as singlet state okay you can observe that it is a paired electron and this electron is rotating in a clockwise direction and this electron is rotating in an anti clockwise direction it means both the electrons have opposite spin and due to the opposite spin that condition of electron is known as singlet state and the molecule in which electrons are present in singlet state it is involved in the process of fluorescence so fret is also known as singlet singlet resonance energy transfer okay student if you want to understand about fret then you should have an idea about the fluorescence okay so student i would like to suggest to watch my previous videos which is based on the process of fluorescence okay but for now i will give you a little bit information about the fluorescence okay a student fluorescence is a process in which when a molecule present in their ground state and it absorb the radiation of shorter wavelength and after absorbing radiation of shorter wavelength molecule is excited and leave their ground state and reaches to an excited state and after reaching to an excited state the molecules want their stability again so to attain their stability again molecule leave their excited state and start coming back to their ground state and when molecule is coming back to their ground state it emit the radiation of longer wavelength okay student in other words you can say that in their ground state molecules absorb high amount of energy high amount of energy and when it is coming back from an excited state to the ground state it emit low amount of energy because student wavelength and energy have inverse relationship if wavelength is shorter it means energy is high and if wavelength is longer it means energy is low so in their ground state molecule absorb high amount of energy and when it is coming back from an excited state to their ground state it emit low amount of energy okay so student this process is known as fluorescence and the molecule which show this such kind of process is known as fluorophore or simply you can call it a fluorescent molecule okay now student let's understand what is resonance energy transfer or fluorescence resonance energy transfer okay students the actual amount of energy which is emitted by the molecule when it is coming back from an excited state to their ground state to get stability is known as resonance energy is known as resonance energy is known as resonance energy okay so resonance energy is the actual amount of energy which is emitted by the molecule when it is coming back from an excited state to their ground state okay 
is known as resonance energy and student when this resonance energy is a transfer to another molecule then such kind of transfer of energy is known as resonance energy transfer okay and when this resonance energy transfer is takes place between two fluorescent molecule by the process of fluorescence or simply you can call it when the resonance energy is a transfer from one fluorescent molecule to another fluorescent molecule then such kind of transfer of resonance energy is known as fluorescence resonance energy transfer okay students so now you are able to understand about these full forms and what is the resonance energy transfer what is fluorescent resonance energy transfer what is forester and what is the singlet singlet resonance energy transfer okay friends so now students let's go further and talk some other important point about the fret students let's understand how the process of fret takes place okay let's understand this students let me rub this out due to space problem Student, let's under, understand the process of fret by taking an example of two fluorescent protein. Okay, A student, the first fluorescent protein is CFP. Okay, and student, CFP stand for cyan fluorescent protein. Okay, A student, cyan is a bluish green color, or you can call it the color which is just opposite to a red color. Or cyan color is obtained when you separate the white color from the red color okay so that color is cyan fluorescent cyan color A student cyan fluorescent protein has the ability or it can you can say it has the property that it absorb the radiation of 433 nanometer and after absorbing radiation it will leave their ground state and reaches to an excited state and when it is coming back from an excited state to the ground state it emit the radiation of 476 nanometer okay so student 433 nanometer is the excitation wavelength of cyan fluorescent protein and 476 nanometer is the emitting wavelength of the cyan fluorescent protein okay and student the second fluorescent protein is yellow fluorescent protein okay student yellow fluorescent protein has the excitation wavelength of 476 nanometer and after abs uh, absorbing for the wavelength of 476 nanometer it will leave their ground state and reaches to an excited state and after reaching to an excited state it again coming back to their ground state and when it is coming back to the ground state it emit the radiation of 527 nanometer so 476 nanometer is the excitation wavelength and 527 nanometer is the emission wavelength okay students in next step we are just going to tag the cyan fluorescent protein and yellow fluorescent protein with two different proteins okay suppose that it is the protein a which is bind with the cyan fluorescent protein okay and it is the protein b which is bind to the yellow fluorescent protein okay students in next step we are going to bind these two protein that is a and b okay let's see this is the cyan fluorescent protein it is bind with the protein a and the yellow fluorescent protein now is binded with the yellow fluorescent protein got it student 
when these two protein a and b binds together then due to their binding the distance between cyan fluorescent protein and yellow fluorescent protein is also decreases it means cyan fluorescent protein and yellow fluorescent protein are come closer to each other okay and when it and when they come closer to each other then the distance between cyan fluorescent protein and yellow fluorescent protein is between 50 to 100 angstrom or you can call it 10 nanometer okay 10 nanometer now student in next step we are going to incident excitation radiation on this cyan fluorescent protein okay so student the excitation radiation is 400 33 nanometer so student after absorbing the radiation of 433 nanometer this is cyan fluorescent protein is now excited and leave their ground state and reaches to an excited state and when it is coming back from an excited state to their ground state it emit the radiation of 476 nanometer okay but student due to very close distance with another fluorescent protein the emitted radiation of cyan fluorescent protein is just transfer is just transfer to yellow fluorescent protein is just transfer to yellow fluorescent protein and after absorbing the radiation which is transferred by the cyan fluorescent protein now yellow fluorescent protein is excited and it emit the emitting wavelength that is 527 nanometer okay friends so student the transfer of an energy that is the resonance energy or you can say the actual amount of energy which is transferred from one fluorescent molecule to another fluorescent molecule is termed as fret this is known as student fret this is the fret this is known as fret and the energy which is transferred from one fluorescent molecule to another fluorescent molecule is known as resonance energy is known as resonance energy okay friends so this is called fret in which energy is transferred from one fluorescent molecule to another fluorescent molecule okay student for fret to occur there are some condition okay student the first condition is the distance between two fluorescent molecule must be between 50 to 100 angstrom or 10 nanometer okay this is the first condition and due to this less distance the energy is very easily transferred from one fluorescent molecule to another fluorescent molecule this is the first point student the second important point the emitting wavelength of one fluorescent molecule must be the absorbing wavelength of another fluorescent molecule okay so student you can observe that the radiation which is emitted by the cyan fluorescent protein is 476 nanometer okay and the excitation wavelength of yellow fluorescent protein is 476 nanometer it means the radiation which is emitted by the cyan fluorescent protein has the ability to excite yellow fluorescent protein it means the emitting wavelength of cyan fluorescent protein is the absorbing wavelength of yellow fluorescent protein in other words you can call the emitting wavelength of cyan fluorescent protein is just matches with the natural excitation wavelength of the yellow fluorescent protein so the emitting wavelength for fret to occur the emitting wavelength of one fluorescent molecule must be the absorbing wavelength of another fluorescent molecule okay this is the second point and student fret is a uh, let me tell you one student the molecule which transfer or you can say the fluorescent molecule which transfer its energy is known as donor molecule is known as donor molecule is 
is known as donor molecule and the molecule which absorbs the energy which is emitted by that donor molecule is known as acceptor molecule is known as acceptor molecule is known as acceptor molecule okay friends so you can say that the emitting wavelength of donor molecule must be the acceptor wavelength of the or you can say must be the absorbing wavelength of acceptor molecule okay students now student fret is a distance dependent phenomenon is a distance dependent phenomenon is a distance dependent phenomena it means if the distance between two fluorescent molecule increases then the efficiency of fret decreases and if the distance between two fluorescent molecule decreases it means the efficiency of fret increases so you can say that fret having the the inverse relationship with distance okay distance increases fret decreases distance decreases fret increases okay students so this is the inverse relationship between fret and distance okay students fret is a non radiative transition is a non radiative energy transition okay non radiative non radiative transition okay or you can simply call it non radiative energy transfer students non radiative energy transfer is that process in which energy neither absorb nor emitted it is just a release in the form of heat or it just a transfer from one molecule to another molecule okay so you can observe that the energy is from one fluorescent molecule is transferred to another fluorescent molecule so this is a non radiative transition okay friends so students this is all about fret okay friends i hope this discussion will help you to understand about the fret their meaning their full forms their the protein which are involved in the fret okay friends so friends if you like this video then please share this video with your friends please do subscribe our channel and friends don't forget to press the bell icon so next time when we upload a new video you will get the notification okay friends so thank you very much for your precious full hearing have a nice day